Hey guys, <clears throat> this is Oracle Daphne. I'm back again for your December 2014 monthly reading. Um, this is for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Aries. Um, and as you can see, I'm at a hotel and I'm recording these um, here while I'm on my trip. I am available um, primarily right now in the evenings. Uh, I'm still doing readings every day for people. Um, so if you'd like a private reading, I'd love to do one for you. Um, feel free to email me at elizabetholson31 at gmail, and um, I'd be happy to set up um, a good time that works for both of us. So, um, anyways, here goes. Here goes nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna see what we get for you guys. And. Okay. Oh, you guys have some interesting highs and lows here. Um, what the pathway you're on is actually the star. And the star card is a lot of times, um, you know, when readers get this card, everybody gets excited. Because that, that means that, uh, th that it's really a positive thing. Things are looking up. Um, the path that you're on is, right now, the word healing is coming to my mind. The star card is also healing. It's, it's, um, the energy is it's sort of like, it's sort of like a blessing from the universe. Um, you're very blessed right now. This is a very blessed time. Um, this is a time to express gratitude to... Um, you know, your loved ones, your friends, your family, um, just, you know, everybody around you. Um, it, it's definitely a time to express love and gratitude for everything you've been blessed with because the stars are literally blessing you. Um, this is the path that you're on right now. It's a very blessed path. Um, this is also, you know, um, it's, you know, November is at 11. Okay, it's an 11 month, okay? And we're, this is a December reading. So if we imagine that the two pillars in the back, here and here, uh, represented, you know, the month, right? Um, and she was coming through, November was in the back and she's arrived in December. You know, you guys, you guys are starting off the month on a really good note. You're stepping into the month with a lot of star power, I might add. Um, this is, you know, power to achieve your dreams, power to uh, connect on a higher spiritual level. Um, this is power to, um, I feel like some of you actually can connect with, um, you know, people from behind the veil, you know, um, deceased loved ones. <clears throat> I feel like that's, that's coming to me as well. Um, you know, and, and money, you know, your ideas, the star gives you ideas on how to, how to better your finances because the fish are kind of hanging out around her head. Um, and fish are money. And so, you know, your ideas are money and the star brings you prosperity through doing stuff with your ideas. Now it's interesting because in Aries, um, <sighs> Is I think primarily has like one major star in the constellation, um, and um, Aries has a lot of head energy as well. So that thought, you know, a lot of Aries have brilliant minds, brilliant, um, just not only just creative but mathematical geniuses. A lot of times are Aries. Um, uh, you know, this is just, this is just a great beginning. Um, interestingly, because, you know, she can be a media. Okay. She can be a psychic medium herself. Um, or if you're an Aries guy, you're watching this, you know, you know, someone, or you're thinking about someone like this, um, or you may have talked to another psychic medium and, and that's who you're thinking about. Or it could be your wife. Your wife could be a psychic medium. Um, the, thing that's crossing you is higher, it's high, getting counsel from a higher 
source, like higher with more wisdom, you know, they, you know, like a sage or someone that's, you know, um, actually, actually a psychic too. So, um, this is also someone that you go to for advice, wise counsel. This could be a lawyer, a teacher, um, a doctor, someone of higher standing. You know, I think of, you know, an older aunt or uncle or someone that you can confide in and you know, ask, ask how things are done. And they, they basically tell you their answers are, are gold because they help you figure out what you want to do and how to, how best to go about it. Um, so this, when I see these two crossing each other, it's interesting because it's sort of like you yourself are a medium and yet you're going to somebody else for psychic advice, maybe to confirm your own ideas and impressions. Um, I mean, it's interesting because most psychics, they can't psychic themselves. You know, they have a hard time psychic themselves because they're too close to it. So they see what they want to see and it's better to get an outsider's opinion. So this would be my counsel here is, you know, if you're psychic yourself, get somebody else's, another psychic's opinion, um, that would be, or you, either you're thinking about it or you're going to do it, um, one or the other, but it's definitely a good idea. It's always good to get a higher, you know, it's always good to get counseling. Okay. I'm a huge fan of counseling. Um, whether it's psychic counseling, whether it's, you know, um, psychotherapy counseling, um, you know, whether it's just talking to a teacher or somebody that you know, um, that you can confide in, that you can talk to, talking things through is really, really helpful. Um, Aries, a lot of times they don't emote as much as other signs. Um, but they need to get things out of their head just as much. Some Aries are very communicative. Some of them are talkers. It just depends, you know, on the person, of course. But if you're watching this video, chances are um, it would be good for you to get some additional counseling. You know, I'm happy to do a private reading for you if you haven't had one from me before. Um, all you need to do is email me at elizabetholson31 at gmail.com and... Um, I'll let you know my availability and we can set something up. So the foundation, excuse me, the foundation here is victory. It's one of the victory cards. This is a great place to be. Um, this is in the past, you know, you really worked hard to achieve your dreams. Um, and maybe you're climbing the corporate ladder. Uh, maybe, maybe you're still climbing the corporate ladder, but you did make, maybe you got a promotion, um, something happened in the past, you know, um, so I'm drinking my tri salts again. I, um, put them back up here for you. My lovely tri salts really good for Aries actually, because the, um, Aries have a lot of fire energy and they're, I feel like they're more drawn to salts and alcohol and really like acidic, foods, um, you know, like pickly kind of foods, things that are really high in a acid. Um, and because of their fire energy, it's good to have the, the tri salts kind of some more cooling, uh, cooling energy. Um, they may be prone to drinking a lot of coffee. Um, and the tri salts actually has, um, you know, it's, it's good for your daily dose of calcium and that, that, um, it's totally flushed out of your system when you drink your coffee. Um, I don't know why I added that in there, but I did. So, um, in the recent past, and now we just covered the distant past, you may have come across this card, which is the Mr. Right card. Um, or you may have been dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Aries male. This could be you. You could be an Aries male and you, you know, um, are just a really good guy. You know, you're just, um... You're very successful. You're a great businessman. You may have your own business. You may have several kids. Um, you may have another one on the way, or you may be thinking about having more kids. Um, but you know, you're kind of like the father figure in in your in your household, and um, to a lot of people, you're the father figure. Um, and Aries do really make great, Aries men make really good dads generally. Um, the interesting thing is this, 
tower card, which I don't particularly like what's crowning you. Um, I'm feeling what's happened recently is a divorce, actually. You recently got a divorce. Are you thinking about a divorce that just happened? That's, that's what it is. It's, um, you know, some way, somehow your household kind of split. Um, and that it could be breakup, divorce. Um, you really recently were going through a divorce. Now, if you're single, then this is something, some kind of trauma thing that happened to you. Um, female Aries, I feel like some big, you know, big fights are, you know, have happened uh, with either your significant other or a boyfriend, um, female Aries particularly. Male Aries, I feel like it was a divorce. You really went through a divorce recently. Single guy Aries, um, something might, might have happened recently, you know, just like maybe yesterday or something. Um, this is, this is typically car accidents. This is typically just unexpected crap happening to you out of the blue. Uh, you may have been, you know, you may have lost your job, something, you know, female Aries too, you may have lost your job. Um, this is just sudden loss, sudden incident, some trauma. Um, a lot of times it's just a broken home having to deal with, um, picking up the pieces of a broken home. You may have not have been divorced. You may have been divorced for some time, but it may be, a, you know, crowning you in this moment because you're really thinking about it, you know, some way, somehow it's not really over. It's like plaguing you. Um, and it's interesting because right around the corner, we have this, <clears throat> this energy, which is also headspace energy, feeling of overwhelmed, lots of emotions, um, I see, I see kind of like this pattern here, this, these two kind of, you break up with someone and then this is what happens, you know, the, yeah, I feel like Aries Pisces, you know, there's a lot of Aries Pisces combinations, so, um, I feel like Aries guys, you're dealing with a Pisces female, um, Aries female, you know, you also may be dealing with a Pisces female, um, or it could just be you Aries female is really, really upset about, you know, breaking up with this guy. You know, you could be an Aries, Aries combination as well, um, or Aries Taurus, cause this could, this can also represent Taurus, um, or Capricorn. So Aries females, you might have just recently broken up with this guy and, um, you're, you know, really upset. It, it can just be like a big blowout fight. You know, you guys could be fighting and it's just like a sudden fight that, 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 you know, you got into with your, um, your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend. Okay. And then <clears throat> the position of emotions is interesting because I generally think of this as a cancer, Scorpio, Libra, could be Pisces, but it's generally Cancer, Scorpio, or Libra. Male. And this is in the position of your emotions. And the message is, it says, following your heart. Riding the waves of emotion. Letting things play out regardless. Because it's in the position of emotions, I'm going to just say, it's not any of those three characters, although it could be a man, a Scorpio, Cancer, or Libra male that you're really thinking about, you know? It's sort of like out with the old, in with the new, you know? You could be dealing with two guys, you know? You recently broke up with this dude, and, you know, you're thinking of, you know, emotionally, you're, you, you really like this dude, this guy's riding into your life, riding into your emotions. Um... If you're, if you're not dating at all, um, then you're just needing to, to ride things out. You know, there's a lot of emotion that you've got going on and you need to just kind of let things kind of pass. You know, Aries can get very, very emotional. So, um, it's important for you to, uh, let things play out. 
Um, what's coming from the, the universe is it's sort of like it's time for you to take a little break. You need to take a break from the action. It's important for that you do this. Um, you know, she's sitting there drinking her wine or sipping her tea, and she's just taking a moment of re to reflect on the past. Um, you know, if you're an Aries guy, it may be bringing you another Pisces female or it can bring you a Cancer. She can be a Cancer as well because she's got a lot of... Um, She's got a lot of fish around her and um, marine life. So I think she could also be a cancer. And it's also water. Um, <clears throat> so you can meet somebody new. There's a lot of characters in, the, in this reading for you, Aries. A lot of interesting characters. You've got a lot of people in your life. There, I feel like there's people that are coming and there's people that are going. You know? If you're an Aries female, I feel like... Specifically, I feel like you, you almost have three guys, um, three main guys, three main characters. Someone that you dated in the distant past, more recent past, then there was a breakup, and now you're upset about it, and you know, you're thinking about getting back out into the field again, but the universe is telling you, okay, Aries female, it's time to take a little break, you know? Uh, it's time to just take a rest, and, and maybe not date, um for a while. Um, and then your attitude is you got the magician, uh, which is a Capricorn male. <laughs> so you may also be dealing with a Capricorn male, Aries females. Um, there's just a lot of guys for you in this reading. Um, and the, you know, the magician though is again, it's sort of like the alchemical too. It's almost alchemy. It's coming to me. It's sort of like you're capable of doing more than you think. Um, and you're, you're capable of getting a lot done. You have, you can harness energy when you want to. So you can harness the fire energy, the water energy. You can do a lot. Um, so don't underestimate, underestimate yourself, Aries. Male, female, it doesn't matter who you are. Don't underestimate, underestimate yourself. And the universe is telling you to um, take a leap of faith, to go for it. And it's interesting because, you know, Aries generally is the pioneer. So don't be afraid to tap into that energy. Don't be afraid to, you know, I feel like you guys may be sort of in this place where you're, you're not make, taking enough risks or you're not... Um, and you're kind of getting fixed on, I feel like you're really getting bogged down with relationships right now. This is, this is a spread that's all about relationships. And I feel like you're really getting like confused and you're dating way, way too many people. If you're single, um, you know, you're trying to, I guess, in, you're, you're trying to A, you know, kind of get in touch with your own psychic ability and energy be trying to work on your career and kind of get that straightened out. See, you're trying to not let your emotions get the better of you. And maybe it's time for you to take a little vacation. And D, the universe is telling you, you have all the tools in your box to be able to do whatever it is that you want with your life. All you need to do is take some action steps, take a leap of faith and trust that the universe will deliver for you. Um, that is the main thing. Um, so Aries guys, um, you know, if you're, if you're an Aries male, I, I feel strongly that some of you have recently got a divorce. So you're thinking about a divorce, um, and you're dealing with a Pisces female, Pisces and or cancer female. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of things that you need to kind of just um, work out, maybe sort between the two of you. Um, you also have the ability to achieve your heart's desire. Um, you work with your hands. Um, and the universe is saying, you know, take a leap of faith. Um, you know, this is a time to really trust that things are going to work out for the better um, in your life in general. Um, but this is a general reading. So... My suggestion is, um, Aries guys, definitely, um, either schedule a private reading with me or talk to somebody who you trust and, and sort things out, get some counseling. Um, Aries females, 
Um, definitely take a little breather from any of this crazy dating you've gone through or uh, if you're not dating, just um, try to get some alone time into your schedule so that you can, um, which you kind of probably already have, but schedule it in anyways so that you can really um, figure out who you are. You know, Aries need alone time to kind of figure out who they are. Um, that's that's one of their challenges. So I'm going to have to wrap up because my battery is dying. <laughs> but anyways, I didn't want to rush, but um, I do need to wrap up. So anyways, I wish you guys the best. Happy holidays to you and your whole family, all your friends. And um, and I'll be back in back soon for my December, mid-December um, forecast. Uh, I send you big hugs, big kisses, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Take care. All the best.